Assalamualaikum. Hi everybody. In this video, I want to show you the uh, input power of this Newman motor if I put um, a load on the shaft. But before I uh, continue, I would like to thank all of you for the uh, response of my last video for the uh, information, for the ideas, for the advice, for the emails. Um, I think I will try to uh, apply some of the ideas from you guys. You are um, really nice. It gives, it gives me uh, encouragement to continue this uh, research okay um, now I'm going to show you the uh, timing wheel first you see the uh, the tooth here It has uh, the uh, the width. I mean, if the uh, tooth passes by the uh, sensor, it will block the sensor, and the uh, circuit will pull pulls the uh, coil. Okay. Actually, this is not uh, the ideal uh, pulsing um, mechanism because the uh, pulse width is not constant at um, all RPM range. Okay? At the uh, low RPM, low RPM, we will get a wider uh, pulse than at the uh, compared to higher RPM. So, um, no wonder that at the uh, low RPM, the uh, input power is higher than at the uh, higher RPM. Now I'm going to um, turn the uh, power supply on and I will put the uh, tooth exactly at the uh, sensor and slowly adjust the uh, voltage and you can see that at the uh, certain voltage the uh, rotor will um, will um, how you call it kicked away from the uh, sensor. Now I'm going to adjust the uh, voltage slowly. You see that the uh, rotor is moved. And if I The voltage is uh, 10 volts now, the input voltage. If I rotate the uh, rotor uh, counterclockwise, it will kick back. And if I turn the rotor, 
clockwise again now I'm going to show you the uh, input power if I ah yeah because I don't have a real um, how you call it a real load to put on this shaft I will just um, hold the uh, shaft with my fingers and you can see the uh, uh, the current input increases okay let me start the rotor let me start the motor Okay, I think the uh, RPM is now stable. I will hold the shaft and you can see the uh, current input increases. Okay. Again, I'm going to hold the shaft. Okay, I'll do this. I'll do this uh, once more. Now I'm going to show you the uh, effect of the uh, different timing position. I will move the uh, sensor to the left. RPM goes down. The input power increases. Now the RPM is uh, stable again. I'm going to put the uh, sensor to the right. All the way to the right. The same thing happens. RPM goes down. Input power increases. Okay. 
Now I'm going to show you one uh, one thing. You can actually uh, make the uh, rotor to rotate on other direction. On my last video, I showed you the uh, this rotor direction to the right or to the uh, um, clockwise uh, rotation. If we put the uh, timing wheel in this configuration and I put uh, another marking now if we align the uh, timing wheel to this position the motor will rotate um, in the opposite way or in counterclockwise rotation okay I will do that now Hold the uh, rotor and then just rotate the uh, timing wheel. So the timing wheel is correct. Okay, now I'm going to adjust the uh, voltage. Set it to 10 volts and then we will try to rotate to the uh, counter, no, uh, the uh, clockwise rotation. Again, now I'm going to turn the uh, rotor counterclockwise. Again the same thing, put a load on the shaft. Okay, so the uh, motor will rotate in either direction according to the uh, um, timing wheel alignment. Okay, I'm going to show you the uh, Timing wheel. This is actually um, 
just a lid I cut I cut the uh, the side and lift the uh, small uh, blocker here and actually the uh, this red plastic is transparent to the uh, sensor okay so what I did was to put this uh, black tape on this uh, blocker so that the uh, sensor can read the uh, the uh, this wheel okay I think that's it for now until next video bye bye